everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the single compress stitch, uh, which you can see here in this swatch in front of you. Now uh, this is a fairly easy crochet stitch to work. It creates this neat texture. It's the same on the front as it is on the back. Uh, I think it would make a great uh, washcloth or a bag or even work well in a blanket. You can let me know how you would use the stitch in the comments below. Um, but uh, today I'm going to be working this stitch using a little bit of the paint box cotton Iran yarn in dolphin blue. I'm also using a five millimeter crochet hook. Uh, you can find the free written instruction for this tutorial on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com and there'll be links to all of these items in the description of this video. So thank you so much for joining me and uh, while you're here I invite you to take a look around and uh, of course subscribe. This channel is updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials like the one that you're going to see today. Our single compress stitch today is worked in rows. So you're going to start by making a slip knot and then by working a foundation chain. And your foundation chain can be any multiple of two stitches. So today I'm going to chain a total of 20. There's 10. Once you have your desired number of stitches, you're going to begin one, row one with uh, beginning your first stitch by working in the second chain from your hook. So into that second chain, you're going to insert your hook and you're going to draw up a loop. You're then going to insert your hook into the next chain and draw up a loop. So you're going to have three loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and draw all the loops, draw it through all the loops on your hook. Essentially you've worked a single crochet two together. You're then going to chain one and you're going to repeat that all the way across. So after your chain one, over the next two stitches, you'll work a single crochet two together. You're going to insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three, and chain one. So go ahead, repeat that all the way across, single crochet two together, followed by a chain one all the way across, and then meet me back here. Once you come all the way across working your single crochet two together and your chain one, you're going to have one final chain left over you're going to single crochet into that chain, chain one, and turn your work. You're now all set to begin your row two. For row two, you're going to begin by working your single crochet two together. First, in that stitch that you just completed, so one leg into the stitch, and then the second part of your single crochet two together will be in the chain space, the next chain space. So yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three. You're then going to chain one and repeat. Single crochet two together working in the next stitch and the next chain space. Chain one. You're going to repeat that all the way across. When you come to your final stitch here, you're going to work one single crochet into that final stitch, chain one, and turn your work. 
You're now going to continue to repeat your row two for as long as you would like. So single crochet two together, chain one, and repeat. So repeat that row two for as long as you would like. You can then fasten off, weave in your ends, and enjoy your single compress stitch. So thank you so much for joining me. And uh, once again, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around, and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.